All right, guys, it's finally time. It is my 2024 uh, settings video that I'm finally going to upload. I'm not sure why, but a lot of people always want to know my settings, so I figured I'd make a video out of it so that way I can redirect them. I had one up for a little while there, and everybody got really mad that I didn't have a newer one, so here's the new one. So, starting with my video settings, I actually play 1610 now. That's probably, like, the only significant setting that's changed. Shout out to Elise for this. I was dabbling with 4.3 stretch for a little bit, but it always felt too fast. I felt like I was inconsistent. I didn't really like it. I'm old. It felt too quick for me. So 1610 is kind of like a nice middle ground because especially playing on 1440p on 69, funny enough, it almost felt too detailed and it sometimes felt hard to see people. So 1610 just gives me a little bit more like visibility, I guess is the right way to put it. So I play 1920 by 1200, which is a high-end res for my 1440p monitor just stretched on 1610 and it's on 240 hertz now getting into the advanced video settings i do play with boost player contrast obviously no v-sync i think the biggest thing is shadow a lot of people i think still don't know this but if you don't have your shadows turned up you will not get like the super high-end um shadow advantage on the biggest map you can see this is vertigo towards heaven or on the flank towards forklift underneath a towards the ramp if your pc can do it being able to have your shadow on high is really useful and actually a competitive advantage and some people don't even know their shadows are showing without having this setting on so that's probably the most important the rest i would say is very much preference the other setting that's always a bit I don't want to say controversial, but the one that people like to know about the most is low latency. Now I have a low latency enabled in game, not boosted, but in the presets on your NVIDIA control panel, I have that set to ultra. And I usually sit around 400 FPS, even on the high end 1610 res. Getting into audio, it's a little interesting. I play on the EQ profile, crisp LR isolation. I really didn't know what I wanted to do with this. I put it to 50% shout out swisher on m80 he said he he really enjoyed it on 50 percent. so i just copied him and i never really switched back and i really enjoyed it i always felt like perspective correction was really hard to play with it was incredibly difficult to understand where things were coming from it might be better now similar to how they rolled out audio stuff in csgo and it got a lot better over time but for now i have it turned off and it just feels like a lot more straightforward information audio wise so something that's kind of hidden in the settings i shouldn't say hidden but i just feel like people don't go to it often enough or know where it is i get a lot of questions on stream like what are the letters for and all this kind of stuff and this is when you, what you see on my radar and when i'm playing this is where it all comes from is the team options so i have show location equipment i always have the colors and the letters there uh i basically everything turned on so that way i'm getting the most information available as possible also in the most recent update they made it better the only annoying part about having this stuff on all the time was it would overlap with your crosshair but now it starts to fade away a little bit and becomes more translucent when your crosshair is closer to your teammates team id so good update nice quality of life with this even less of a reason not to have this stuff on all the time i know some people find it distracting so this is very much a preference thing I prefer it on. I always like to know what my teammates have and can throw for me. And also that way, when I get mad at them for not throwing the flashbang that I know they have in their inventory, I can call them out for it. So next, my crosshair. We'll put the crosshair link in the description below. I'll just show you what it looks like. It's pretty standard, but things get weird when you rock style five. So I'm actually using style five right now, which is basically, you know, it's a little bit dynamic. It doesn't move when I'm running around all the time. So it's not as distracting, but it does give you firing and accuracy when you do shoot it, which is nice for me. The reason I use it is because as somebody that's opt for such a long period of time and has started rifling a lot more for the team, cause I got a small brain and IGLing and opping is just really hard for me. I just have that opera brain. I just get my crosser on someone. I just start shooting all the time. And I just like the style five helps me basically stay in check. I know for some people it can be a bit wonky and weird, but it helps me and I like it. Uh, it took me a little bit to get used to, but would definitely highly recommend it if you find yourself kind of maybe rushing your shots sometimes it's not your accuracy or like how quickly you get to the you know enemy it's more so your discipline when you get to shooting the enemy and that's where i struggle so if you're just coming back into cs or maybe you haven't set this up yet there's now grenade lineup 
crosshairs that are built into the game. The one thing I changed is just to instantly be able to see my smoke grenade lineup. The rest of them are all around two seconds, mostly because it can be a bit distracting to just have it all at zero. It's really obnoxious just to have every nade and nade lineup. So that's really the only change I've made. I kept everything at two seconds and then I made it so when I throw or when I pull out my smoke grenade, it just instantly goes to the lineup and then everything else two seconds. Next up, sensitivity. That's really easy. I still have not switched. I am a simple, simple man. I'm still at sensitivity 1.5 at 800 DPI. This is pretty much what I've played forever. I've sometimes switched it up a little bit here and there, but very little. And this is usually where I like to stay. Uh, some would consider it fast. I use a heavier mouse and larger mouse and a lot of, a lot of boomer stuff. So the, the high sensitivity doesn't always look like it, but this is what I prefer and what I've always played. And for zoom sensitivity, it's just default. Never change it. I always like to just keep things basic. I've messed with it a couple times and I basically immediately regretted it and put it back to one. So for binds, I'm very simple. Mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down. Both of them are my jumps. I still use a jump bind, which I use as T. And then I also have a forward jump throw bind, which I find really useful, especially if you know you throw instant spawns on certain maps like Mirage. Uh, and I have that bound to X. For nades, I have flashbang on mouse five and I have Molotov on C. My mouse four is actually a dedicated crouch jump, which it makes doing the Mirage cat jump and some other ones very easy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's not a super sexy video with my settings. Uh, all the little intricate like little binds that I had at the very end there will be in the description below. And don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.